everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Avalon episode 27. Today's episode, we're working on that little inner area inside of our roundabout just outside the new train station. Now, I'll be honest, I, <laughs> I imagined whenever I planned this episode that I could do this entire thing in one episode. Um, that was definitely not the case. Uh, but I also want to say that, that this build that I do here, this little inner part, the kind of the beginnings, I guess, the, uh, the start of our station, because this really is a part of the station. Like this will be very uh, intertwined with the, the pathways that go over top of all the platforms and all that stuff. Uh, this is like hands down my favorite thing in Avalon now. So I promise that uh, it will be worth it. You'll get to see uh, the results of this over the course of the next, you know, two or so episodes. But um, yeah, this is going to be a bit of a, a bit of a project and it'll take a little while to actually finish the whole thing. But uh, I'm going to start off with the lower section. So to kind of give you some perspective on what I had kind of in mind for this area is uh, I wanted to have a bit of a curve here. You can see we've already got this kind of curve section planned uh, on the ground there. And then I also want to have a big curving pedestrian walkway over top. You can see we're planning this out now. Uh, and this is going to kind of follow this curve and then cross over and create more, you know, elevated space for uh, some more shopping centers and, and things of that nature. Uh, so. Yeah, I wanted to have all of this stuff feel like it was, um, you know, very, very pedestrian oriented, obviously, right? Um, but, but also very dense, you know, I want to have like two layers of just like a dense shopping. And, uh, and I think that we achieved that pretty well here. So, so what I'm doing is I'm starting off with the regular pedestrian walkway. It's just like the standard concrete one. Uh, I'm only doing this because it's like seriously impossible to work with the invisible one without actually having uh, the pedestrian routes very strongly defined or else you have no idea where it actually is. So we're going to leave these up for, I think, the entirety of the episode. I won't even make them visible until uh, we have the walkways done. But uh, we're going to use procedural objects to to create a nice curved organic pedestrian walkway over top. So, so that'll be a fun challenge. But uh, once that's done, then we'll make the entire thing invisible and it'll it'll look very convincing, like an actual, just natural elevated walkway and shopping center. And it'll look pretty unreal in city skylines because, you know, the game is not designed to have multi-level um, shops and buildings and things like that. So, so it's kind of a fun challenge. And I've kind of, I've, I've tried this stuff in the past, right? Like we had uh, a couple different elevated sections. I know we have one next to Central Point and that was like, you know, way back before we had uh, invisible walkways or procedural objects or any of that stuff. So we didn't have as much control and I didn't really focus on also having a, a lower elevated or a lower shopping center, right? Like I think it was elevated over top of a, like a highway or something. So um, not nearly as cool, but, uh, but this one, I really want to add all that detail to both levels and really create a cool space. So. Uh, that's sort of the plan here. So you can see I'm, I'm starting off by by trying to find a bunch of buildings that fit nicely underneath the walkway and don't block the walkway, but also create kind of a backing because we need to have uh, elevated shops that fit inside of these taller buildings. So so that's why I'm trying to find all of these skyscrapers that like very nicely fit in here and, and kind of allow us to then elevate buildings inside them. Uh, we also need to make space for our walkway to connect back to the ground again. So uh, the way that I'm going to do that is by having a couple of the shops that are scattered about uh, actually have the walkway enter them and then go down like very steeply back to ground level inside the building so you can't see it and then uh, and then reconnect there. So so this will be fully functional. People will actually walk on the upper walkway. They'll even go to the stores on the upper walkway and they'll also go to the lower walkway and because it's a part of the metro and because it's the only way to get to the far platforms we should have quite a bit of traffic walking around these areas which i think will will further justify spending a whole bunch of time on it hopefully <laughs> so that's sort of what i was thinking as i as i approached this now i i didn't really spend a lot of time focusing on the the outer part of this uh, this whole complex so the area that I'm working on right now right like this area alongside the road I'm gonna focus more on this 
uh, when we kind of move back across the road and start working on the, on the station again, because this, this whole section will be, you know, require some detailing of its own, but um, I'm really trying to like lower the scope of how much I tackle at once because, you know, even with this, even with this small section, it took me multiple episodes. So, you know, ideally we'll, we'll kind of find a, a, a good scope to aim for in future episodes and not end up uh, having to make so many multi-part episodes, but uh, that's kind of how it's been lately. But uh, you can see here, we're actually trying to, to lower the ground right now or lower the, uh, the platform into the ground right now. Um, it's very steep, obviously, so we'll be covering that up at a later point. You'll also notice that I'm I'm moving buildings around as I do this. So the one thing that's annoying about working with uh, networked things is that growables are affected by networked pieces, even if you have anarchy on. So even though I have anarchy on, if I try to draw one of these, uh, you know, one of these pathways over top of a building or a growable, it'll delete the growable, which is super annoying. So um, <laughs> I tried to do as much of this now as possible so I wouldn't have to deal with it later, but uh, we do have to move these buildings out of the way if I ever draw any new pedestrian walkways or anything networked for that reason or else, or for that matter because I'll, I'll end up deleting buildings and whatnot. So that was one of the things I had to kind of worry about. You can see right there even just kind of moving stuff out of the way before I actually draw it. Uh, but here we're finally going to start working on the platform. So of course we're going to use procedural objects for this. Um, I, I started with this little block as kind of the baseline. I'm going to sort of measure it out here, kind of find the right size, the right everything. Um, I didn't want to make the base size too small, but it needs to be small enough that it's, uh, you know, that it'll fit in all the areas properly and then we can always expand it from there. But, um, but the base size is relatively small um, and then on top of this block, I'm going to be plopping a ploppable surface, which uh, the main benefit of this is that, well, for one, the texture is, uh, it's like, I think it's projected or, or it, it acts kind of like a decal almost in that it doesn't, uh, it doesn't stretch whenever I, you know, stretch this object, which is perfect for what we're doing. So it'll look very convincing. It won't even be obvious how I've stretched and manipulated these pieces. So that's why I I chose that. The other added benefit is uh, poppable surfaces can have decals placed on them. So we can actually add decal details elevated above in this elevated walkway, which will be super nice as well. So this was my real first dive into procedural objects and I think it went pretty well. Um, I'm sure that I'm still not doing things as optimally as I could. Like it, it seems like I'm, I'm kind of fighting the tool in some areas to, to get things to work properly. Uh, specifically when I'm trying to like snap things or not snap things, but get them, you know, lined up. Like I'm, I feel like there must be some sort of uh, like snap feature that I'm not aware of or, or something along those lines. But either way, I feel like I kind of managed it okay. And, uh, and we got this thing done at least. Hopefully as I use PO more, I'll start to kind of learn the tricks and, and things to speed things up. Cause it did take a little while to actually build this walkway a little more than I'd like to admit, to be honest, I think that, uh, uh, there's probably better ways to do lots of this stuff, but, uh, as we get further into this build, I, I tried to design a couple areas um, you're seeing now kind of to the right of this little crossing area, these little uh, kind of like narrow gaps that go down into the lower section and then we have walkways on either side and uh, I feel like this is a really cool opportunity to like really bring the feeling of density up so we can have like pipes crossing and we can have you know advertisements along the sides of the walkways and all that stuff. Uh, so, so I tried to do something along those lines, sort of reminds me of, uh, um, outdoor shopping malls that I've been to in my own area. So, um, I wanted to get some of that in there as well, but as we get to the, uh, the shops and the upper level, um, I wanted to get at least most of the, the shops themselves plopped this episode. Um, not a lot of detailing, but at least the buildings. So that's what I focused on this time. Uh, one of the big challenges here is that since we're using pedestrian walkways on the uh, the upper tier there, it seems like I'm still close enough to the ground level where I do have roads that the buildings aren't complaining about not having a road connection. But at the same time, 
for some reason I'm still getting uh, other issues like uh, like police coverage and um, and in particular I'm you're seeing a lot of these little um, not enough goods to sell icons and I'm seeing those on the ground level as well so I'm kind of suspecting that my city in general is just lacking in um, in freight and uh, it does seem like that's the case because when I zoom out I can see that uh, the whole city has some problems with that so we're gonna have to probably add in some more freight terminals at some point but um, either way I guess time will tell if if these buildings will actually get the right services even though they're elevated and not actually at ground level if we do have an issue it wouldn't be super hard to just pull some of the uh, uh, some of the pedestrian roads on the ground level closer to the buildings and then have uh, maybe like some garage entrances that that then you know the, the cars can like drive into and then I would elevate the pedestrian road inside the buildings to actually get access that's another option that honestly sounds terrible <laughs> like I really don't want to deal with moving all these buildings around and then trying to get the road to connect so hopefully hopefully everything works fine and we don't have to do that but um, I don't know I guess we'll see it seems like these issues that arise from from doing weird stuff like this don't really show themselves until you've like let the simulation run for a little while so we'll see later on if that's an issue but um hopefully it's not hopefully we can just kind of leave it how it is but as we get closer to the end of the episode uh i, I kind of want to run you through what the plan is for the next few episodes so uh I, what i really want to do is spend a lot of time on detailing this area that's why i'm i'm only doing buildings this episode i'm, I'm trying to really finish off uh, the base design so we can just start detailing in the next episode so the next episode is going to focus on the upper area particularly because i, I again i thought that i could do the whole thing in in one episode the whole detailing in one episode and that even wasn't really the case so uh, the upper area will get you know, mostly the upper area will be will be focused on next episode. We'll do a bit of the lower area as well, but we'll, we'll totally finish the upper area at the very least. Uh, and then the episode after that will be the ground level, and then also sort of focusing on on where these paths go from here. But um, it's coming together. Like we're we're actually getting this stuff to function. You can see all the people walking around, and and they actually do go to the the different like shops and things in the upper area and it's seriously like so satisfying to watch all these people like get off the metro and and then walk up in the upper area and the lower area so i'm pretty excited about this honestly i think it really turned out even better than i was hoping it would and you'll see with some details that it, it really comes to life obviously we're uh, we're just looking at buildings right now and there's there's still quite a bit of work to do to actually get it to that next level that i'm hoping to get it to so um of course we have to also cover up all of the uh, the the different pedestrian roads that, that go down to the ground level. So um, I wanted to make sure we did that as well. We have a inconspicuous pottery barn hanging out over there where our uh, where all of our people seem to be uh, very attracted to because they're all coming in and out of that. Um, and also a little bit of building clipping here and there as well. Uh, maybe a little more than a little bit, quite a bit of building clipping. Uh, also in this, this last section before we wrap things up, I... I decided not to detail the back side of these buildings quite yet. There's like that area right by the uh, the arc there. I I did actually originally detail it and I made it like really really busy and then I I cut all the footage out and I deleted it because I think that we can do something different here. We're going to have to because we can't really have more of this like shopping center stuff on the other side of that arc. Like it's it's just kind of blocked by, you know, the highway connections and all that stuff. So it's probably going to have to be like a back lot kind of area and and it's hard to get a grasp of like how to make it all blend together right now. But once we have all the other buildings in and we start expanding around this area, then it should be easier to kind of get that that feeling. So um, we'll get to that in the future. But in the meantime, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Come back next week for some more detailing in our train station. And as always, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.